Now we head north for a grand western tradition, Cheyenne Frontier Days. Karen Lee is there getting us ready for the biggest rodeo in the West. Karen, always so much for families to do. Yeah, so many things to do out here. As you can see here over my shoulders, a lot of fans here coming in here. Concert goers tonight because the big headliner, Jason Aldean. Country fans know who Jason is. So you can see steady flow of people that have been coming in. And Jim, I just kind of want to paint a picture here of what takes place here. You can see right over here when people first come in, they like to take a picture by the big rock. We've been watching people all day come in and take a picture here, stamping this moment, making sure that they have it set for sure. Wave at everybody. Hello. Yay! Some of our friends out here. So many people coming up and saying that they just love all of our coverage here from Cheyenne Frontier Days. And Eddie, if you'll pan down there too, you can see the rides. And I think that's kind of fun too, as you were talking about, Jim, for families. There's all kinds of vendors, games, rides that have been going all day long today. And that is what, you know, of course, the little kids come out here for. They so enjoy that. But you cannot be out here for Cheyenne Frontier Days if you do not have the rodeo. Those things kick off tomorrow. Our Dylan Thomas, we know, is out here too. Dylan, you've been working so hard today, beating this heat and having a great time. And you have a, a special to share with us about someone special in the rodeo. Yeah, Karen, there's a lot of horses like Buddy right here that are going to be out competing. There was more than 100 different women who tried out to be in the barrel racing competition, but only 72 made it, and one of them was from Colorado. And for them, this is more than just Cheyenne Frontier Days, the greatest rodeo of them all, but this is also a family affair. Throughout the year, rodeo contestants skip from city to city with all roads leading to Cheyenne. Well, Cheyenne Frontier Days is the biggest rodeo of the year. Professional barrel racers like Shaylee Lord say none compare to Frontier Days. Well, definitely here at Cheyenne, it's a rush to run barrels because the arena is huge and a lot of excitement. But for Lord, a resident of Lamar, Colorado, even the roar of thousands of fans can't drown out her biggest yet equally smallest fans. <laughs> Barrel racing, it's a family affair for us. Lord is just one of many moms racing in the pro rodeo. Not everybody has parents that do that. I think it's just special. Her son, Slade, and daughter, Steely, love the rodeo almost as much as they love their mom. I'm very proud of her. I'm normally cheering quite a bit. They like to video and they yell and cheer me on, so it's really exciting to know that I have such great family support. And the kids have a lot to cheer for. Shaylee was one of the top qualifying contestants going into the rodeo this year, setting an example for the next generation of barrel racers. I just always want to do it, and because my mom is doing it. Win or lose, the smallest fans in the stands have the loudest voices and the biggest hearts for the cowgirl they simply know as mom. I'm really proud of her because she works hard, and I love her. Watching her is just really fun. So adorable, right? Now, the good thing is that the rodeo actually kicks off this Saturday, and there's still tickets available going all the way through the end of the month, which is the 31st. Visit our website, cbsdenver.com, for more information on how you can see beautiful horses like this one and their owners out competing here at the Daddy of them all.